Now that One UI 7 is finally beginning to roll out to older Samsung Galaxy devices, devices whose names don't start with uh, Galaxy S25, something like perhaps your very expensive Galaxy Z Fold 6. You should be getting One UI 7 with a whole slew of new features. Actually, pretty darn rock solid update as far as I can tell. It's finally rolling out better, very, very late than never. And now all attention is turning to One UI 8, Android 16. As I'm sure you guys know, Android 16 beta number 4 has actually just rolled out. I've got it here on my original Pixel Fold. I've shown you guys the new features on that. And what that means is Android 16, the stable version, is going to be coming very, very soon. So Samsung really cannot afford to stay on the cadence that they are currently on, where they are like a half a year behind even other OEMs like OnePlus when it comes to getting out these major version updates. They have just rolled out 15. 16 is coming very, very soon, but it is seemingly going to be coming quite a bit sooner. We have actually seen reporting not that long ago, which stated that One UI 8 is actually going to launch with the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Z Flip 7. That would be quite the turnaround, right? So they just launched One UI 7 with the S25 series and only something like what, maybe four months later, they're launching an entire new version. Now, of course, with the turnaround that fast and considering just how truly gargantuan the changelog for One UI 7 actually is, you really shouldn't expect a whole heck of a lot out of such a fast update in One UI 8. And guys, we actually have a story from Sam Mobile where they got a hold of an early build of One UI 8. They installed it on an S25 Ultra and doesn't seem like there's a whole heck of a lot that is new. We'll start off looking at a handful of screenshots that they did post. You can see here One UI 8 and Android 16 is the version. First up, we have a new interface for Quick Share. I am a fan of Quick Share, but I have felt like maybe it's not as seamless and maybe the UI could be a little bit cleaner. So hopefully this is a step in the right direction. You do have a send and receive tab, like separate tabs for those things. So I think that that might be a decent improvement. Here in the gallery application, the menu now does look very, very different. It looks much more like the quick settings currently now. Look, while I show you what it used to look like, I will acknowledge that I said currently now, slightly redundant. We also have a couple of new options in the wallpaper picker. It's those two right here. And basically what they do is apparently they are a dynamic wallpaper and they will change colors over time, which is kind of cool. Now, while they also do mention that apparently pairing your Galaxy Buds to a device running One UI 8 no longer requires the Galaxy wearable app, that's really about all that they were able to find, and that might be disappointing for some people. Although, let's keep in mind that this is being tested on a Galaxy S25 Ultra, and this is set to debut on a set of foldables. So it is very possible that there will be some things that are foldable specific that maybe just won't be there on this kind of a device. It's also very, very much worth pointing out this is an early build, and a lot could change between early build and final build. We've seen this with normal Android releases. We've seen this with betas in the past. So we can't look at this and say, this is all that's coming. I would be shocked if this is actually the only thing coming. They're gonna be launching two new foldable devices. They are going to have new software features. So bet your bottom dollar on that. This is not it. But we also do have to acknowledge that Android 16 does have a slew of its own features. And of course, it's going to be getting that as well without diving super deeply into these. Here are a handful that were present in the first beta of Android 16. And this first one is going to be big for larger screen devices like the Galaxy Z Fold 7. With Android 16, they are apparently phasing out the ability for apps to restrict screen orientation and resizability 
on larger screens. Now, Samsung has kind of worked around this already, forcing applications to rotate. They've actually done a really, really good job of this, but it's going to be now happening sort of on the back end. So all these apps that maybe don't like to be on these larger screens, they don't want to you know, stretch themselves out, they want to stay in one orientation, that is not going to be a thing anymore. Hopefully that leads to better large screen UIs on these applications. Another thing Samsung has kind of already dabbled with here, live updates. Think about the now bar. That's basically what we're talking about. Android is rolling support for that kind of thing directly into Android. You have, as it says here, a new type of notification for ongoing activities like navigation, food delivery, and more. So hopefully that means now bar works with more different applications. This hopefully enhances that experience. We do now have advanced professional video codec. I'll leave that here for people to read if it matters to them or not. And then we also do have more stuff for predictive back animations. Again, nothing particularly huge, but it's going to help sort of the overall usability of Android. At any rate though, guys, we are in a spot where there is some good and some bad. It doesn't seem like it's gonna take nearly as long to get the next version of One UI coming. Again, launching with the Z Fold and Z Flip 7 in probably just a couple of months, something in that ballpark. Hopefully then it rolls out to older devices relatively soon after that. And we don't have a situation where like with One UI 7, the S25 series gets it and everyone else waits for a really long time. Hopefully that turnaround is much faster, but with a faster turnaround, there's just not as much time to squeeze in a whole bunch of new software features. So I would say mentally prepare yourself for a much smaller improvement than what we just got with One UI 7. Guys, if you want to help support the channel in a more direct way, consider clicking that join button down below. You're going to get some early access to video content here on this channel. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.